That's right, today I will be ranking all the characters from Ultimate Custom Night based on their difficulty. I will not be including any secret characters or DD in this list simply because it would just complicate it, honestly. If you want to know my thoughts on them, just watch this video up here, you know, stuff. Otherwise, if you enjoy this ranking, do me a favour and hit the like button. Oh, and just remember this is all my own opinion and based on how difficult I find them. Your list will probably be different to mine, and feel free to let me know in the comments who would be on your list. Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. Number 50, Rockstar Foxy. Rockstar Foxy is the easiest to deal with for a couple of reasons. For one, if you click on his bird, most of the time he actually helps you rather than kills you, unless he's on a high AI, but even then it's only a chance he'll kill you. Secondly, if you never click on his bird, you never even have to risk it and can avoid him entirely, which makes him the easiest of the easiest, since you can literally avoid all interaction with him if you choose. Number 49, Trash in the Gang. Trash in the Gang are distraction characters, and there is no way to avoid them. However, they are literally never ever a problem in this game at all, and I have never been distracted by them enough to be killed. Pretty much useless. Number 48, El Chip. Same as the gang, they are a distraction. Not a super intense one, and they are super, super easy to get rid of. Just press the skip button or enter on your keyboard and he will leave. Also, useless. Number 47, Funtime Chica. Out of all the unavoidable distraction characters who aren't secret, Funtime Chica is the most annoying. However, if you turn off visual effects, she's not as bothersome. Not that she really was anyways. Number 46, Phantom Freddy. Phantom Freddy will slowly appear in your Oculus, and if you let him fully materialize, he will jump scare you. However, I have never ever had a problem with him, especially if Nightmare Freddy is active too. Plus, he can't kill you. Only let vent at characters in, but that is very rarely an issue. Number 45, Phantom Balloon Boy. Pretty much does the same thing Phantom Freddy does, but the way you make him angry is by looking at him too long on the camera, so either switch off the camera or flip your monitor down. I find myself more likely to get this one than Freddy, but even still, it doesn't really do much. Number 44, Phantom Mangle. Exactly the same as Phantom Balloon Boy, however, they cause a noise disturbance, which is usually a bigger issue than just a simple jump scare. However, they are still really easy to deal with and rarely cause any actual issues for me. Number 43, Helpy. Helpy appears in the same exact spot every time, and he is once again rarely an issue. It's pretty easy to hit him before he jump scares you, and even if he does, it's just a loud noise, which isn't the worst thing that can happen, unless Lefty or Music Man are already pissed off. Number 42, Old Man Consequences. To be honest, his minigame is not hard at all, and you can just spam C and most likely get it. However, unlike the others, if you miss his minigame, he disables your ability to use the camera, which is really, really dangerous. However, it's very unlikely you will mess it up unless you are heavily distracted. Number 41, Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy is the first character on this list who is an active threat and can kill you without warning. However, it is super easy to deal with. You just put the mask on whenever they put the camera up and he goes away instantly. So he's very rarely an issue at all. However, on high difficulties, if you are for whatever reason not paying attention, he can get you. Number 40, Phone Guy. Phone Guy is the last quote unquote distraction character. I mean, I find him more annoying to deal with than the others, as his mute call button can appear anyone on your screen, and you have to be fast in case it's in a bad spot. If you miss it, he creates a long and loud noise disturbance that can get you killed. However, if you pay attention, you should be fine. Number 39, Pig Patch. To be honest, I don't find the duct characters to be that difficult to deal with for the most part, and Pig Patch is the easiest for duct characters as he is both fooled 100% by the audio lure, and he is pushed back by the heater, making him really easy to deal with. Number 38, Mr. Hippo. This guy behaves exactly the same as Pig Patch, but the only difference is that if this guy kills you, you are forced to listen to a four minute monologue. Number 37, Happy Frog. Happy Frog behaves exactly the same as the others, but the heater doesn't affect them, which means that you pretty much have to use the audio lure, which doesn't really mean much because it works 100% of the time, but by default, they are ahead. Number 36, Molten Freddy. Molten Freddy is one of the characters that come from the top vent, and out of all the vent characters, he is the easiest to deal with. Basically, whenever you hear his very obvious laugh sound, close the top vent. You can stall him as well, so it's safe to say he's not that hard to deal with. Number 35, Enid. Another character that comes for the vent, and while he is very hard to see on the vent camera, he once again makes a sound effect in the form of squeaking to let you know he's about to attack, and once again, just close the vent and you can stall him. Number 34, Spring Springtrap. Springtrap is, once again, super easy. Just like the others, you can stall him, and while he doesn't have an audio cue, you can literally see him in the top vent when he's about to attack, which makes it a lot easier if you're paying attention, of course. Number 33, Afton. Afton being in this game is weird, but besides, his mechanic is super unique, at least for this game. 
He attacks once a night and when he does, the lights will flicker and a lot of banging will happen before he attacks. Just close the right vent to block him. On hard difficulties, he doesn't give you a lot of time, but to be honest, it's not that hard. The only time I die to him is if I accidentally open the vent. Otherwise, he's really not that bad at all. Number 32, Nightmare Fredbear. Nightmare Fredbear's eyes appear at the left door along with his distinct laugh. When you hear this, simply shut the door. His laugh is panned and it's pretty obvious when he's at the door, plus she can stall him. Number 31, Nightmare. Literally the same as Fredbear, but on the right side. I find in Ultimate Custom Night, I'm more focused on the left side than the right side, so I normally don't see him, but I do hear him anyways, so yeah, I don't know. It's not hard at all. Number 30, Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy will appear in the bottom right vent, and if he gets in, he will disable your flashlight, just like in Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. To be honest, I very rarely let him in. It's because I always shut the right vent whenever I flip the camera, unless I know he won't be there. Number 29, JJ. Exactly the same as Balloon Boy, however JJ disables your doors, which is usually more troublesome than flashlight, but still really easy to deal with. Number 28, Freddy. Freddy approaches your left door, and you have to close it when he gets near. However, same as the nightmares, you can stall him by not opening the cameras and closing the door when every time you need to. Freddy is honestly a piece of cake. Number 27, Nightmare Freddy. Nightmare Freddy is pretty easy to deal with, just shine your light on the Freddles when they, are, when they spawn to make them go away. I've never ever had an issue with him, and even if Balloon Boy blocking out my flashlight, it's not even bad, but it is a little time consuming, and can catch me at a bad time. Number 26, Rockstar Freddy. This guy can get really annoying really fast, constantly asking you for money, however, what makes him not so bad is that the heater works to deal with him a lot of the time. Obviously, the heater was a bit risky, but I find it rarely to be an issue at all, and especially on higher difficulties, I tend to have enough coins to deal with him anyways. Number 25, Withered Chica. Withered Chica goes for the vents and can be blocked by the vent snare. If she makes it to your opening, she will get stuck until eventually squeezing through to kill you. However, what makes her easy is that she always goes to the far right vent, so if you leave the snare on there, she's never ever a problem. And even if she gets through the snare, if you close the door every time you lift the camera, you'll be safe. Number 24, Mangle. Mangle behaves the exact same as Withered Chica, however, unlike Withered Chica, she can go through any of the three vent systems, which makes her hard to trap. However, if you close the vent every time you open cams, you should be fine. Number 23, Music Man. Music Man is a tricky one. I normally have no problem with him, however, trying to keep him under control is stressful when there are a lot of things that can make your noise go up. Especially if you have a character that needs like a low temperature. And by himself, he's not too bad, but with other characters, he can be a real pain. Number 22, Ned Bear. Ned Bear behaves largely the same as the other characters in the duct, however, he isn't often tricked by the audio lure, and as a result, you have to use the heater more often than not to get rid of him. This is annoying, but not as annoying as the next character. Number 21, Orville. Here's the annoying character. This guy is almost never fooled by the lore, so you pretty much have to use the heat on him, which is just frustrating. However, he's not that bad, and only really an issue if he's on 20. Number 20, Balor. Okay, Balor by herself, it's not hard to deal with at all. It's just an audio cue where, depending on where it's panned, you either shut the left or right door. However, what makes Below a kind of difficult, especially on harder difficulty, is she likes to attack at the same time as other characters like Toy Chica and Toy Bonnie, and other characters who make a bunch of noise, and can make her son just blend into the background, and can get you killed if you're not paying attention. But she's usually not too difficult. You just have to stay focused, as she doesn't give you a lot of time to close the door. Number 19, Withered Bonnie. Withered Bonnie will appear in your office, and when he does, you put on the mask. Unlike the others, while he gives you less time to put the mask on, he also leaves a lot quicker, and he doesn't show up that often either. So you usually don't have to deal with him that often. You just have to remember you need to be a bit quicker than the next two. Number 18, Toy Chica. Toy Chica attacks the most often out of all the characters who require the mask, but she also goes away quite quickly, and when I play, I tend to have my screen more towards the left side of the room for some reason, and as a result, I can see her coming more often than this guy. Number 17, Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie is basically exactly the same as Toy Chica, except he comes from the right side and takes a bit longer to come through. Which is one thing about these two that really annoy me, is that they take so long to attack. Otherwise, they aren't too bad. Number 16, Nightmare Balloon Boy. Nightmare Balloon Boy is a character that does kill me a lot, but usually because of a dumb mistake on my part, like instinctively flipping the camera if I forgot to do something. His mechanic is kind of annoying though. If he's sitting down, don't flash him. If he's standing up, flash him. To be honest with this guy, if you just scan the room every time you flip the camera and flash him when you need to, he's really not that bad. Number 15, Scrap Baby. Scrap Baby is pretty much exactly the same as Nightmare Balloon Boy, however they only show up every now and then, and unlike Nightmare Balloon Boy, I find it a lot harder whether or not she's looking up or not and whether you need to shock her or not. Only slightly more annoying than Nightmare Balloon Boy, 
but it's still not that terrible. Number 14, Jacko Chica. For whatever reason, I am so bad at keeping my temperature down, and as a result, I find Jacko Chica to be in a position to kill me way more often than I would like. However, she's not that hard to deal with if you know what to do, but still, it's kind of annoying. Number 13, Bonnie. By himself, Bonnie is just three points, not a problem at all. However, when Foxy is also active, I find Bonnie to be the biggest pain in the ass, especially on high difficulties with Foxy. Seriously, I can never catch a break with this guy. He always disables my goddamn cameras every time. Call it a skill issue, but I fucking hate this rabbit. Number 12, Lefty. Lefty is one of those unique characters where I find myself either completely forgetting about him or overly stressing to the point that I forget about other characters that are more important. The noise and temperature mechanics are the two things that stress me out the most in this game, and I often forget it the most. And with Lefty being affected by both, it can lead to a recipe for disaster. Number 11, Rockstar Chica. I know, Rockstar Chica isn't the worst, I'll admit that, but for whatever reason, I really struggled to keep track of her and place the wet floor sign to the according door. Once again, call it a skill issue, but I do struggle a bit with this bird. However, from here on out, the difficulty is raised. Every character from here on out on the list causes me immense pain and are the ones that kill me the most out of anyone. Number 10, Nightmare Eon. This one is a mixed bag of marbles. On the one hand, keeping your mouse off its body isn't that hard. However, if he is on 20 and you slack off even for a second, like I often do, you are dead. I find this character to be more of a nuisance than anyone else and just a character I always forget about, which doesn't always work in my favor. Number nine, Chica. To be honest, half of my pump with Chica is I'm not 100% sure how she works. Sure, I understand the whole when I pots and pans stop changing the music box selection, but I find myself dying to Chica way more often than I'd like to admit, which again, could be a skill issue, but I haven't, I find myself getting more and more frustrated with this bird than others, just because I haven't figured her out yet, and I'm really struggling to figure her out, but maybe one day I will. Number eight, Rockstar Bonnie. This guy sucks. Having to find his guitar on the cameras is something that is just both time consuming and stressful. Again, like with a lot of these characters, the problem isn't the character himself, it's all the other things you have to worry about on top of this guy. And his mechanic really grinds my gears and just makes me want to die. Number 7 to number 5, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Mangle and Circus Baby. I'm combining all these characters because they all behave exactly the same way. When they appear in the right hallway, buy their plushie from the prize corner to get rid of them. I am aware that sawing them is an option and something you can do, but I'm not too sure how that works and I just really, really struggle with their mechanic to begin with. It feels random whether the stalling works or not and trying to get coins for the plushies is just something that drives me insane and I hate it so much. However, they are nothing compared to these next four characters and if you know anything about this game, you know that death coins are used as much as possible. Number four, Foxy. Out of all the death coin characters, as I like to call them, Foxy is the easiest to deal with. However, that's not to say he's easy to deal with at all, especially if you have Bonnie active as well. Like in Final Fantasy 1, you have to make sure you are watching him on the cameras, otherwise he will get into your office slowly, piece by piece. Uh, to be honest, I feel like it's rather common to get lucky with Foxy, however, and have him not kill you even if he is in your office. However, he's still enough of a pain to get a spot this high up on the list. Number 3, Puppet. Bruh, I hated the music box mechanics in the second game, and I hate it here. I get you can wind it up without being on the cameras, which is a blessing, but I just hate having to constantly remember to deal with this guy. The amount of maintenance for this man, woman, child, I don't know. The amount of attention they need really grinds me into oblivion. I hate dealing with the puppet. However, since you can technically deal with them while not on the camera, they aren't as bad, as opposed to the next two. Number two, Toy Freddy. To be honest, I'm one of the few people who actually like Toy Freddy and think he has a cool design. He is honestly my favourite out of all the toy animatronics. Actually, correction. He was my favourite until I played this fucking game and learnt that this man sucks so bad at playing what has to be the most basic game of all time to play and if you don't play it for him and he loses, he rages like a fucking baby and kills you. This guy. This fucking guy. I hate him so much. So, so much. He requires so much high maintenance, hand holding, that it just makes me want to smash my screen harder than he does when he loses to Mr. Hugs. But at least his minigame is easy, and you can normally hold him off if you're not dealing with too much. How about our number one character takes the cake is the most difficult, even if it is just them you're dealing with? Number one, Funtime Foxy. And the shocker of the day, Funtime Foxy is the worst character in Ultimate Customer. Seriously, I would rather, I would play Toy Freddy's stupid game for 24 hours straight rather than have to deal with this guy. 
Funtime Foxy makes you look at his camera at the exact second the clock hits the hour, which I never have the brain power nor the patience to deal with. And don't even get me started on the worst thing that could possibly happen in this game. If Funtime Foxy has a showtime at 6am and you miss it, you die right as you were meant to finish and you fail the night. That has to be one of the worst feelings anyone could experience in any Final Fantasy game ever. Every time this guy is in the game, death coining him is the only thing I care about, and I think it makes Funtime Foxy deserving as the most difficult character to deal with in Ultimate Custom Night. Well, that's the list. Again, not including any secret characters or DD, but just know all the secret characters aren't too bad, and DD can kiss my ass. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.